This is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a HP Chromebook 11 G5 EE, which stands for Education Edition Chromebook, and I'm going to show you how to replace the screen, the keyboard assembly, and the battery all at once. Uh, the reason we're going to do that is because this version comes with a touchscreen version and for a touchscreen I strongly recommend disconnecting the battery before replacing the screen because oftentimes the touchscreen becomes dysfunctional if the procedure is done with the batteries connected. So we're going to do all three at once in this video as compared to other videos where we just replace the screen in a separate video for the keyboard. So uh, let's get started. Uh, first thing is we want to make some distinctions. Uh, for the H Chrome, HP Chromebook 11 G5 there's two versions. There's the Education Edition version, which this one is, and the way to tell is it says HP Chromebook 11 G5 EE, and then there's the standard version. The standard version also comes with a touch and a non-touch version, but the procedure is different and the screen looks different, so let me show you what I'm talking about. For the regular G5 version without the Education Edition, uh, there's a glass shield in front of the screen, a glass touch layer in front of the screen, and the glass touch layer is separate from the LCD screen itself, whereas for the Education Edition, the touch layer is integrated into the LCD assembly, so that is the difference. All right, and each time you open and close a Chromebook, it turns on by itself. So you want to make sure that we turn it off. Just long press the power button or just turn it off from the operating system itself. So the first thing we want to do to is disconnect the battery. And to get to the battery, we need to remove the screws from the bottom cover. Before I start, I'm going to quickly show you the tools we're going to use. We have a PH1 electronics screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips and one is the size. We have a smaller PH00 electronics screwdriver, a pair of metal tweezers to manipulate cables and to pry things open, a dedicated spudger to pry things open, and a hobby knife or exacto knife and that's to lift up adhesive tape. So first thing we want to do is to remove the screw covers from the bottom and you use our hobby knife and for each screw cover since it's shaped a little bit differently I want to put it on the side so it, we keep track of which screw cover goes where and as you can see I've already removed the screws to save some time so the screws are in a pile over here so when you do this you will have to remove the screws yourself and we want to keep a good pace here keep going and we remove the screw covers and once again I put them beside each opening so to keep track so when we're gonna open up our Chromebook again it's gonna turn on so what we want to do is when it turns on is we're going to turn it off again. So you might have to do this two or three times while doing the repair before disconnecting the battery. So we're turning it off. So once it's off, we pry the, snap the keyboard assembly from the top. There's a seam between the rubbery section and the plastic section of the keyboard assembly and we gently insert our spudger tool and just start prying it open. It'll sn gradually snap open you hear snapping sounds when you go around the keyboard assembly. I've done this once before on this model so it's a little bit easier for me. First time it'll be a little bit harder but just do the same motion and go all the way around and eventually it'll snap off. So be careful not to do what I just did just now, so you don't pop off a key. And when you do this, lift up the keyboard assembly from the front, and then there will be two cables. Let's take a look in here. 
and they're held down by some plastic bars. So you, you use your fingernails to lift up the plastic bar and you use your fingernail again to lift up the second plastic bar and the keyboard assembly is disengaged. So this is how you remove the keyboard assembly. If you have a bad keyboard assembly with missing keys, this is all you have to do and just pop a replacement keyboard assembly in. Uh, we will have these in stock at the end of 2017, so you can order these from us. Second order of business is to disconnect this battery so we can up work on the screen safely. So there's a cable here. You lift up from the back and you pull it out like so. So the battery is disconnected and if we want to completely remove the battery what we want to do is remove this one screw I believe right here. Put the screw on the side in its own dedicated place and lift up the battery and the battery is removed. So if you want to replace the battery, this is what you have to do. So the part number for this particular battery is AS03XL. For now, we're going to put the battery back in because it helps balance the laptop so it doesn't tip over. So I'm going to put it back in. And we will have this battery in stock at the end of 2017 also. Okay, next, let's get to the screen assembly itself. So, to remove the screen assembly, you have to remove two screws at the bottom, and they're hiding behind some shaped screw covers on the bottom. So, we use our hobby knife to lift up the edge of this shaped screw cover, this screw cover, and just lift it open like so and we see a screw hiding in there. So we put the screw cover here, plastic screw cover next to it so we keep track of it and do the same thing for the next one. So next, uh, you have a choice of what to do. If you want to be brave about it, you use the small screwdriver and disengage this screw at an angle or if you want if you want to take more time you can uh, remove the hinges from the screen assembly itself and that will make it easier to remove the screw. So uh, for this case since we already did most of the work already what we're going to do is uh, remove the hinges and remove the complete screen assembly from the bottom of the laptop. So to do this we have to disconnect some more connectors. So we have this video cable connector. We lift up the bar, the plastic bar, and remove this connector. And there's a, another connector that would just slide out like this. So two connectors here. And then on the other side there's two Wi-Fi antenna connectors. So we pop them out and deroute them from here. So the connectors are disconnected from the screen assembly. Next we have screws for the hinge covers. We have two screws on this side. One and two. And once again one and we lost the screw somewhere so it'll come out I'll find it later so not to waste time and two so now we see that the screen assembly is disengaged and we find a way to work the screen assembly out and we put the bottom of the laptop on the side so next, we need to remove the plastic bezel around the screen assembly. To do this, we have a straight shot at the two screws, one and two. And if you notice, for each step, for each set of screws, I keep a different pile. And each pile is in the order in which the screws that was removed. 
and it helps me keep track which screws go where when I'm putting the laptop back together. So next we want to snap the screen bezel off. We put our fingertips or fingernails on the screen side and gently lift up, up and outward. So we work our way around the screen like this and this one's not too difficult put the bezel on the side. Next we want to remove the screen itself, the LCD screen from the screen assembly and there's four screws for that and there's a second one from the bottom here let's get a good focus here, second one from the bottom here and the first black screw on the left here and the first black screw on the right here. So we remove these screws one by one and we put them again in a pile. One, two, three, okay so this one got a little bit stripped, let's see Okay, so we need to apply quite a bit of force to it to see if we can see not and looks like we stripped this one. So I'm gonna get a bigger screwdriver. and I got a bigger screwdriver so be careful with these guys so because I stripped this one but I was able to disengage it with a bigger screwdriver and move forward so when you do these guys make sure that you apply quite a bit of force to it so next we can lift up the screen from the screen assembly and find a good way to lay it down so we can disengage the connection. Alright, so to disengage the connection we lift up the adhesive tape from the corner and remove the adhesive tape. Once we remove the adhesive tape, we slide the connector out like this. To slide it back in, uh, you slide it back in and you'll feel but not hear two clicks. And this is what a properly connected connection should look like. There should not be a gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection. The two sides of the connection should be flush with each other. Now let's examine the screen. Uh, this is a special screen as of the end of 2017. It is a new screen. What makes it special it's a 11.6 inch touch screen so the touch layer is integrated into the LCD screen itself. This is compared to a regular 11.6 inch EDP screen which has been common on Chromebooks from about 2014-2015 to now which is a non-touch. The way to distinguish this screen from the non-touch screen is two ways. One is this one has a 40 pin connector as compared to a standard 30 pin connector for an EDP screen for 11.6 inch Chromebooks that most of them have had. The other way is to look at the part number. This particular part number is B116XAK01.1. So this part number is for a touch screen. Also another part number that you might run into is LP116WH8 SPA1, that's also a touch screen. Uh, there are many part numbers for the non-touch version, but the way to tell is that it will have a EDP connector, a 30-pin EDP connector as compared to a 40-pin touch connector. Finally, there's a label 
on the connector going to the laptop, it says touch LCD cable. So that's another way to distinguish it. So the HP Chromebook 11 G5 Education Editions uh, laptop, EE laptop, it has two screens that look very similar, but one is touch and one is not, and I showed you how to distinguish between the two. And also, this touch screen is glossy, and most of the EDP screens that are not touch there have a matte finish. And like I said before, there's a G5 regular edition, non-education edition, where the, the touch assembly, where the touch layer is separate from the LCD screen. And as soon as we have one of those, I'll do a video for that to show you the distinction. Okay, um, we will have this touch screen in stock at the end of 2017. And the way to work with us is go to www.screensurgeons.com. Most of these will go to schools and school districts. So there will be a link at the top of the webpage that says schools. And then there will be a form for you to fill out. And then you can request which parts you need and how many. And we can provide custom quotes and school volume discounts and purchase orders and all the things that are required for school orders. If you're just an individual purchasing this screen, go to the same website, and then there will be a short form for you to fill out on the front page and follow that procedure. We ship to the United States and we ship to countries around the world, so whenever you go through checkout or placing a purchase order with us, just indicate which country you're in. Also, with these screens, uh, you will get at least one toolkit with us like this from us for free, and you can request more toolkits. Also, if you work with school districts and not ready to order a screen just yet, what we do is we offer this toolkit for free to any school or school district that requests it. So just go to screensurgeons.com, click on schools, and in the form that you're filling out, just say you want a free toolkit and we'll send it to you. Okay, so when you do get these new screens in, just follow the reverse procedure put everything back together exactly the way we took it apart and you should be good to go. Uh, this sounds like a lot at first but uh, after a while it gets pretty quick. You can probably take the whole laptop apart and put it back together in uh, 10 to 20 minutes. Okay, uh, that's it. Thank you very much. Once again, my name is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you and good luck.